let the holiday gaming commence. Here are the best games still to come to PC in 2020. You can feel it in the air. Not the chill of winter, but the approach of the biggest games of 2020. The neons of Night City are finally fizzling into action for Cyberpunk 2077. The wind is picking up for your Viking longship in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And the bug snacks are preparing to tuck in your napkin. 2020 is quite the year. Oh, and before we start, remember to subscribe to Logitech G and hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss a video. Now though, here are the best games still to come to PC in 2020. Oh, we'll just start casually, will we? With a sequel to one of the best RPGs ever from Larian Studios. Yep, Baldur's Gate 3 has sneaked up on us, and even in early access form, this return to the Forgotten Realms is something to be seriously excited about. Just to be transparent, Larian has already made clear that this will be Act 1, with Acts 2 and 3 still in progress. So we'll have 25 hours or so of self-contained gameplay. There will be six classes initially, with more on the way, and this is very much going to be a work in progress. But hey, getting to be a part of things so early is a treat worthy of a couple of bugs. Okay, maybe not that bug. Not that bug. Fans of a galaxy far, far away's classic flight games rejoice. Star Wars Squadrons is well worth raising at least one glass of blue milk to. Inspired heavily by titles like X-Wing vs TIE Fighter, Motive Squadrons is all about bringing those vicious dogfights to life in both a deadly multiplayer and in-depth story-based single-player campaign. But this isn't all about looking back. Squadrons is a truly modern experience with improved handling and yes, even drift. Understood. I'll handle it. If you want a deep dive on the G-Force packed action, Matt has already taken the engines to pieces in the video link you can see on screen now. Since the stratospheric success of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy remake, Wampa Juice covered hands up if you thought we'd be seeing remastered marsupials for the next decade. Instead, Crash Bandicoot 4, the beautifully titled It's About Time, is on the way. And honestly, this looks like the stuff of Aku Aku clad dreams. Returning to the original's Insanity Beach and leaping through dimensions as both Crash and Coco, as well as some more nefarious faces, Crash 4 is a love letter to the series. Expect spinning, jumping, riding absurd vehicles and, yes, running directly into the camera while being chased by something deadly. Only, this time, it's got teeth. You could say that this dino is feeling bolder. <laughs> London, the Houses of Parliament, the Queen's Guard in bearskin hats, spider robots that let you lovingly recreate Alien. Okay, Watch Dogs Legion might be playing hard and fast with the sights, but you've got to admit it looks like you'd leave excellent TripAdvisor scores. Unless you're that guy. Flint Hawking's open world where you can play as any NPC you like, making them just a PC by our calculations, promises to play out exactly as you want it to. While you could go in all, well, nail guns blazing like Arthur here, oh, ouch. Ooh. You can also play far stealthier, using dead sec tech to your advantage, or even just wander happily disguised. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. The choice, it seems, is very much up to us. Just what we need in time for Halloween. Another slice of the spooky Dark Pictures anthology pie. <laughs> 
following on from Man of Medan, Little Hope follows a group of five people who end up stranded outside the titular town when their bus crashes. I'm going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. As you'd expect from supermassive games, the fog starts rolling in and it looks a little too much like the Blair Witch has been roped in as a town decorator. Like Rami Malek before him in Until Dawn, Midsummer's Will Poulter takes the starring role of Andrew, who we'll be desperately trying to keep alive during those stressful life or death decisions the studio is now so famous for. Let's face it, it's probably going to be death. Isn't it? Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. And like cartoons after a scary movie, it's time for season two of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. We don't have a set date in October just yet, but we do know that our favourite giant jelly beans with legs will be getting a medieval overhaul with this fresh update. It's time to ditch your pigeon suits and french fry outfits in favour of dragons, wizards, vikings and knights. And we've seen a sneak peek of the new levels and games to come, complete with castle ramparts, drawbridges and this absolute, well, nightmare of a climbing round. It's really not going to go quite like this when we play, is it? Hmm. Oh, and not a yellow dragon in sight. Funny that. Void schmoid, it's finally time to get to grips with a new elemental power set in Destiny 2. And it doesn't look like the Beyond Light expansion is going to disappoint. Revealed at Gamescom 2020, the new stasis power is an icy, shattering delight that literally makes your foes crumble into pieces in your wake. Bungie's chilly new campaign unlocks three new subclasses as we explore the frozen moon of Europa. Warlocks will become Shadeblinders, Hunters Revenants, and Titans, the impressive sounding behemoths, who have an even more earth shattering super known as the Glacial Quake. And, of course, hidden in the snow are even more new weapons with a seriously chilly twist. As sure as night follows day, or peanut butter meets jelly on sandwiches, there will always be another Call of Duty. This year's Black Ops Cold War feels like it's been revealed relatively late, but everything you'd expect from a COD game is right here in the trailer. Terrifyingly realistic faces? Check. Things going boom, all present and correct. Black Ops Cold War is a direct follow-up to the original, meaning we're back with Mason Woods and Co before the events of Black Ops 2 and 3. And yes, if you can look up from Warzone for long enough, we haven't seen it just yet, but a zombies mode has also been confirmed. I know you won't fail us. Not that I've been counting each day with a tally mark on my hidden blade or anything, but it's been two years since we had a fresh Assassin's Creed game. Thankfully though, Valhalla and the return of the spring-loaded murder gauntlet looks like it's going to have been worth the wait. I only played for a matter of hours, but even a small taster of Eivor's adventure was enough to leave me dreaming of storming castles and getting stabby with ludicrously satisfying axe skills. And if you want to see more of my raven and longship flavour journey across England, you can hit the link on screen now for everything I discovered. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly mishurt them, my wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. It almost feels dangerous to say it out loud. Cyberpunk 2077 is almost here. Come November 19th, we'll finally be able to take our first steps in Night City. And CD Projekt Red has been whetting our appetite just enough with glimpses of how our journey will play out. 
The reveal of the three backstory life paths, each with their own priorities and relationships across the city, is a tantalising look at the different ways we'll be able to use our life experiences to our advantage. And if talking it out doesn't work, there's always the cold satisfaction of a shotgun, these mantis blades, or a smart SMG to shoot around corners. Or do this. And last, but by no means least, we've positioned bug snacks so that the theme song can be an earworm for the rest of your day. Mmm, earworms. It turns out that not only is this PS5 game also coming to PC, it's got a hard-boiled investigative story at its heart. OK, as hard-boiled as exploring Snacksburg and hunting down different kinds of delicious bug snacks gets, but you do play as a journalist, exploring the unique Snacktooth Island and documenting its flora and fauna. Here you can stuff your new friends with all kinds of delicious living junk food just to see what happens. No, don't think about how weird that is. Where's that theme song again? <sighs> Liz! I am! I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? So that's 11 games still to come to PC in 2020. Let us know what you're most excited about in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to Logitech G for more features and previews just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video arrives not unlike a bug snack. Oh, this one's lively.